How are you? Are you okay? How are you coping with this pandemic? I think most of us would say, well, I'm okay. But really, are you okay? Hi everyone, I'm Janice De La Cruz. I have been 10 years as a wealth coach. I'm also a book author and book creator. And I am an inspiring speaker. I've conducted several webinars. Admittedly, early on in this pandemic last year, I was not okay. I felt depressed. I can get over this by wasting my time on watching movies and series on Netflix, browsing and engaging on my social media, or even fantasize on how I can achieve my financial goals when it's lockdown and I can't meet my clients in person. Who here can relate? I woke up one day having the urge to make changes in myself. I needed to change the way I think, I feel, and do things if I want something to change. I invested heavily on my self-development to better myself. I enrolled and finished a course of Pindra Shazi and Tony Robbins as a knowledge broker last year. Afterwards, I found myself doing online interviews, publishing books, and organizing summits among others. June of this year, I found myself being part of the Inspirepreneur Inner Circle of Coach JC Nigira because I know I will learn from him and from the community of online content creators. Since last year, I really wanted to launch a paid masterclass on wealth coaching because I want to help people who are struggling with their finances. I needed that extra push to be able to make it happen. And so today, I will be sharing to you three wealth strategies to turn around your finances. This is, in fact, part of the one-hour webinar I conducted together with Coach Miko Lapira. Ready? Here it goes. The first strategy is correct money mindset. How do you view money? Is money good or bad? Type in the comment section, is money good or bad? Most of you may answer it's good, some may answer bad, but for me, money is neither good or bad. It's just a tool and it really is dependent on the person holding on the money. Most of us have this belief that money is the root of all evil. But in fact, love for money is the root of all evil. And it's not really the money. Because a person who is good, naturally good, given a lot of money, will be able to bless a lot of people. Vice versa, if a bad person is given a lot of money, that person will be able to spread evil in this world. Right? And so if you want to have the life that you want, like the big house, travel, cars that you want, it is all up to you. You have the capacity to earn money and it's up to you how you'll be able to make use of it. Second strategy is set financial goals. A lot of people, when they meet me, they would just ask me, how do I invest? How do I make my money grow? It's all about how. And now I would like to make a shift and say to you, you have to ask yourself, what is important to you? And why do you have to do it? If you're clear with your what and your why, I believe the how will follow. You need to consider is clarity. You need to be clear of what you want. I would ask, what is your goal? And they cannot verbalize if ever they can say, di bale, kung ano na lang bigay ng Diyos. Or di bale, kung ano na lang dumating. The universe will conspire. And the universe will give you whatever you think and whatever you say. And so you need to be clear. And how do you gain that clarity? There are ways. Number one is you must be able to write it. Write your goals in journal or a notebook and you should be able to write it with feelings and emotion, meaning you're really excited and you're really energized to be able to achieve these goals. Because if you don't attach feelings to these goals, it will not really 
be as effective as it should be. Second, smart. Not only smart, but smart plus V. Specific, measurable, attainable, or achievable, realistic, and time-bound. Most importantly, it has to be value-based. You need to have a value with it. Because we are not human doings, right? We are all human beings. So we need to be able to identify what values would you like to be manifesting? Because if you are not clear with that, you will be frustrated along the way. I highly encourage you to set PHAG goals. Big, hairy, audacious goal. It has to be big. It has to be scary. Something that will move you out of your comfort zone. Because if it will not move you out of your comfort zone, it may not be as exciting or challenging, then it will not make you a better person. You will just stay in the middle rather than being pushed to level up in terms of reaching for your goals. And another key element is, do you have a vision board? Anyone here who has a vision board, type in the comment section. Vision boards are really good for you to be able to visualize the things that you want to happen in your life. And when you make use of visuals to represent your dreams and goals in life, and you are able to see it as often as you can, then it is ingrained in your subconscious. And eventually, you'll be able to attract all the necessary things to be able to have those dreams and goals in your life. Third strategy is developing good habits. What does it take to have good habits? This will all lead to abundance and self-awareness. Number one, I highly encourage you to write a gratitude journal. Write down things that you're grateful for, all your blessings, because when you focus on your blessings, it will magnify, it will grow. Another thing is consistency. Do one thing for a longer period of time, stay consistent rather than trying different stuff, one stuff after another, trying out what's best work for you. So stay consistent. Trust and enjoy the process. Stay in the moment. Be fully present. So if you're at home right now, fully maximize. What is it that you need to focus on in your homes? Do you need to spend more time with your family? Or do you need to spend time more with yourself like doing meditation doing journaling studying as you go along the way you'll be able to see for yourself that you are in the right place at the right time everything happens for a reason and whatever it is let's be grateful and finally let us all have the mindset of a giver if you truly want to gain something in life, we must invest first. We must be able to give first. By law of reciprocity, anything that we give comes back to us. And the more you give without expecting anything in return, naturally uh, the universe and our creator will flow back to you a thousandfold. Be a joyful receiver. You cannot just give and give and give. You must be also be a joyful receiver. Just be grateful. And the more that you're grateful, I assure you, the more you will be blessed. That is my three wealth strategies to turn around your finances. For more of these tips and tricks to turn around your finances, I'd be happy to share to you the full recording of our webinar. Email me at advisorjanisdelacruz at gmail.com and I'd be happy to share to you that recording. Thank you very much for your time to listen to me. I hope and pray that whatever it is that you're going through right now, your struggles have meaning. Your struggles have purpose. This too shall pass, but never give up on life. Hold on, pray, dream, work. Because ultimately, God rewards those people who work for the betterment, not only of themselves, but for the rest of the people 
in this world. Be that gift to the world. Share your gift.